What's up guys, welcome back. This is episode four of my saddle hunting series and we're gonna talk a little bit about screw-in steps being a good option for setting up presets for saddle hunting. I'm also gonna do a demo on how to install them into the tree and show you guys how easy it is to climb with them. If you missed the first three episodes, be sure to go back and check them out and please feel free to leave me a comment and tell me how I'm doing and what you guys would like to see next. If you're hunting private property and especially smaller tracks where you may be hunting the same three, four, five trees all season long, it may not make sense to climb with a one stick or a set of sticks. And it would make life a lot easier to put up a more permanent climbing method. Ladder stands are a great option for private land presets, but they are less optimal for a couple of reasons. One, you're limited to specific heights. Two, you lose all the benefits of hunting from a saddle like shooting 360 degrees around a tree, being able to reposition at any given time, and so on. Ladders can also give away your position to game if they're not brushed in properly. And also, it may not be very easy for one person to take in a ladder stand and set it up by themselves. Screw-in steps have a low profile, they're very lightweight, and they can give you a very fast and easy way to climb a tree without making a bunch of noise in the woods. Screw-in steps, like anything else, will have its risks. Always make sure to select a healthy tree, you want to make sure that you screw the step in as much as you possibly can. You want to keep the spacing of the steps at a reasonable distance so you don't struggle to climb. And most importantly, select a step that's going to support the amount of weight that you intend to put on it. So I've done some playing around with the first two steps and I found the most comfortable distance for me is about 18 inches. So I'm going to come about 18 inches above the second step, which will be about right here. I'm going to grab the step like this, push it into the tree, and get it started. These things are really easy to get started. Once it starts, just spin it. all it takes so another thing I wanted to mention was you probably want to put them at about 135 degrees and this is going to depend on the size of the tree this tree in diameter is probably about 11 inches and I think about 135 degrees is about perfect so I'm gonna put a few more of these up so you guys can watch me climb and see how easy it is Well, I've got 10 steps up and about 18 inches apart to 180 inches, which is about 15 feet. So if you were using this as a preset, you would hook your stick or your platform to your saddle. You climb up, hook your one stick or your platform up, climb up on your platform, you're ready to hunt. You can either climb back down or you can use your rappel rope to get down. Me, I'm completely set up for one sticking, so I've always got my rappel rope. So that's how I'm gonna get down every time and it was just as easy as rappelling down when I'm one sticking. Say you're a weekend hunter and you want to climb up and hunt Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. You could go up Friday afternoon, you could leave your rappel rope in the tree, hook it to your saddle, and then as you climb just keep tightening it up. Alright, so you could do this a couple ways. A lot of people don't hook up their tethers and lineman's belt until they get a couple steps up into the tree but I don't have much view of the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and hook my lineman's belt up here and show you how I approach each step. Give me just enough slack 
where I can climb up the tree without being restricted by my lineman's belt. So the lineman's belt, if I slip down the tree or if I slip off one of these steps, it's gonna keep me up against the tree from sliding on down. So what I'm gonna do for extra safety, I'm gonna hook my lineman's belt over this step. I'm gonna climb up the next step. Then I'll pull my lineman's belt up over the next step. Hands free again. Up again. Lineman's belt over the next step. Hands free again. Step up again. Lineman's belt up over the step. You keep going all day long. So now we'll pretend that I'm on my platform and I'll hook up my rappel rope. I'll take the weight off of my lineman's belt and remove it. Tuck it into my pouch. Come on down. Pull on your bow rope. That's it. So the whole purpose of this video was to show you guys that even though I love one sticking, you don't have to one stick or you don't have to have climbing sticks. There are other methods for getting in the tree when you're hunting smaller tracks. So I really hope I helped somebody out today. I know this wasn't the greatest video in the world. Hopefully I got my point across. Please leave me a comment if you've got any suggestions or questions. It would really help me out a lot if you guys would hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share with your buddies. But that's all I've got for now. We'll see you guys next time in Rob's Man Cave.